Booker Tov, everyone. Rabbi Eric Solomon, Raleigh, North Carolina. Beth Meyer Synagogue, a little more than morning Torah as we prepare for Shabbat. The Torah portion this week is the story of Noah. Noah's Ark dominates the Parsha, the Torah portion. So I want to say there are two big lessons. There are many lessons in the story of Noah. There's the rainbow, the environmental message, uh, the idea that God will never destroy uh, the world again. You know, there's aspects of how Noah as a prophet deals with a world that's in chaos and corruption. Was he truly righteous in his generations, as the Torah says? But let me focus here on the two biggest, I say big adult, in looking at the whole story. What are the two biggest lessons of this, of this Parsha? Here's my take. The first is that the world at times will be chaotic and obviously corrupt, which is the kind of language of the Torah. There'll be difficulties, there'll be challenges. And that in that time when the world is in challenge, and you know, certainly we're into that now, um, but even in general, that you know, the world will flow. Moments where there'll be your world will be more imbalanced and more will be chaotic and will feel out of, out of control. We all human beings need a place that we can call our teva, our ark, a place we can go to retreat. Now that place can be a physical place, like Noah had an ark, and he put all the animals on it and his family, but it also can be an internal place inside of our own heart and soul, a place where we can go in to protect ourselves, to gain strength, to be in relationships of love, that's what Noah had, Noah, to have an internal place that when the world and life and challenge is in front of us, we can retreat to and even wave, weather out the storms while we have a place for rejuvenation, for, for safety. We all, all human beings, important, the story of Noah, he's not an Israelite or Hebrew. Noah is way, way before that. This is all of humanity. Gets the same opportunity and deserves the same dignity. So there's a place to reside where they are safe. They feel a sense of comfort. And at the same time, the flood may take a while. <laughs> Life has its floods, but eventually it will be over. According to a story, you know, the famous dove goes out, comes back with an olive branch, the sign for peace and shalom. But eventually it will come back and eventually the waters will recede. And we can't stay on the ark forever. We have to get off the ark and go back into the world, knowing that the world has its dangers, its struggles, its chaos, its corruption. We have to go back into that world and populate it and be a part of it and try to change it, try to help it, try to make a difference. So what do these two messages about Noah say? Because they're really messages for us and the world. Is that the world will be difficult. It's not that it's going to be perfect someday, it's all fine. I mean, I know we could talk messianic stories, but in general, in the course of our lives, we'll be, and we have a right to retreat and it's important to retreat and to find places, please God, where we can look inside our own hearts and souls for calm, for comfort, to weather things with people we love, please God. And I don't mean just in, of course, that's just internal or even towards our house, although those things are powerful too, but a community, even a internet community <laughs> where we can retreat to. But at some point, the goal is not to stay there. The goal is even to, is to go out. The goal is to go out into the world and try again, no matter how hard it is and how challenging it is, with God's help, to go back out there, not to live on the ark permanently, but to be part of the world and take the privilege of what we've had to be on an ark for whatever period and see if we can give that and make sure everyone has a place in our life appropriately for their own ark, a place to reside, a place of safety, a place of love, a place of relationships that matter, a place where God's presence feels full. That's the message of Noah. Everyone deserves an ark, and you have to leave the ark. Bokar Tov, Shabbat Shalom to all who celebrate, and please God, a day we feel safe in your ark, but also go out there and see if you can help make others, help others have a very safe, beautiful, and appropriate ark too. Shalom.